Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hey, good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening, Hello, teacher. people. Good evening, teacher. Good Hello. evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Alma. Good evening, Diana. Good evening. Good evening, Kenya. Christopher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Just fine. I'm willing to okay. teach you something. Hey, how are you today? Very energetic. Or are you sleepy? Or you're great. That's fantastic because that's the, the attitude uh, I want here. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, teacher. How are you? The fine. Waiting for uh, a new class, a new session, a new practice in English. Okay, I'm, I'm very excited because, you know, I really love when I see you practicing English over here because I can see that you are doing a great job. Let me see, Alba, Catherine, Roxana, Julio. Hi, Julio. Hi there. Hola. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening, Julio. Okay, I have Gloria, Carolina. Hello, Gloria. Welcome, Jose Luis. Hello, well, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hello, okay, thanks. Hello, Fatima. Teacher, when is the final class? Well, uh, it will be the next week. The next week will be the last one, okay? Okay. So uh, do me the favor uh, to to finish the all the activities in the platform. That's very, very important, okay, that you finish every single activity in the platform uh, because, you know, you need to get a score at the end, an 80%, a 90%, and if it is possible, the 100% of all the activities and all the classes, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, so keep in mind that because that's very important for uh, English Corporativo, for, for, for teachers also. So that's quite important, okay? So that you can um, take advantage of the classes, but also take advantage of the activities in the platform. Okay, let me see, Gloria, I can see you there. Jose Herrera, hello. Rebecca, I don't see you now. I only see you pick. Your picture, the same to Julio. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Jorge David, how's it going? Jorge David, Sandra Guadalupe. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, George, good evening. Sandra, you can see Sandra in the class. Okay, people, now I have the, let me see. I have 17 people and still waiting for the rest. I know, okay, hi, Sandra. It seems as if you have problems with the microphone because I can see that you are chatting, but that's all right. Okay. Okay, Rebecca is in class at the university. Okay, Rebecca, I hope that you, um, uh, stay connected in the class. Uh, Sandra says that she is just coming back home. Okay, Sandra, I got it. And now let us get concentrated. Okay, for a while, remember that we have 60 minutes and this uh, 60 minutes ha have uh, to be, um, I mean, you have to take advantage of these 60 minutes, okay? Now, Julio Cesar, I can see Julio Cesar now. Very good. Okay, now, uh, the first activity we're gonna start with is, uh, it's about the homework, right? Do you remember the homework? Okay, I, I, know, I know that you are uh, good at doing your homework assignments. Everybody is very responsible here. And, and everybody um 
Everybody likes to practice English. So, Kenya, Ke Kenya, give me one, uh, Kenya, tell me one number from one th through five. One through five, tell me one number from one through five. Uh, three. Three, okay, let me see. One, two, and three, all my bet. <laughs> You are you are the lucky one. Okay, so Alma, tell us about the story you um you created. It's a little funny. That's better. Okay. So if it's funny, it's better. Okay. I finished reading a book over the weekend and I sent a message to my sister last night. But you ate hamburgers for lunch. And my dad drank beer watching the game. I bought a small present for your bearded, but I didn't break a glass in the kitchen. Just I didn't watch a movie without snacks. And I didn't awake, awake late the Sundays. Neither I didn't learn play the guitar. Wow. Awesome. Very good, Alma. Great information. Great story. Thank you very much. Hey, Alma, give me one number from one through five. What? Four. 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 Okay. One, two, four. three. Okay. Jose Herrera, you are the lucky one. <laughs> okay. I didn't do the homework. I'm sorry. You didn't do the homework, okay. <laughs> okay, what happened to you, Joseph? Okay, now let yeah, us... I don't have time in, uh, in my in my work. Up, you were very yeah. busy today. Yes, sorry. Okay, so l l just try to do it uh, during the class, okay? Hey, Jose, give me one number from one through five, Jose. Uh, uh, four. Four. One, two, three. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Good evening. I wonder if you're able to participate now. I can see that Jenny is over here. Okay. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. No, Jenny. It seems as if Jenny cannot speak right now. Let me say, I will count. Uh, yeah, Jenny. Teacher, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, Jenny, go ahead with your story, please. Estoy buscando en la captura de pantalla ahorita, que lo tengo ahorita, 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 ahorita. All right. Okay. Me da, me da un momentito. Aquí está, aquí está, aquí está. Eh, <clears throat> the first time the birth, the birth of Jesus Christ was a tribute, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Uh, to just... the date, December 25 was in the fourth century. Um, <clears throat> according to early Roman history, early celebrations of Christmas are thought to have no sé cómo se pronuncia eso dice derive profe eh, teacher cómo se pronuncia derived derived from Roman and other Euro European festivals that make them ay teacher deme chancecito que se me perdió que mi teléfono no es bueno Okay, okay, Jenny. Okay, you will have your, your opportunity later. Okay, don't worry. Okay, please, please. yeah, and I need a volunteer. Okay, I need a volunteer. Only one, only one. Then we're gonna continue with with the class. Okay, because we need to finish with the activities today in the platform. Only one person, please. Only one uh, participant. I need a, a, a another participant. Hello, David. Okay, my history is a uh, way King, pardon, King, King Midas. Okay. There, there once, there once was a King named Midas, 
who the a goat did for his child, and he was then great. I wish about Dionysius, the god of wine, for his wish made us ask. Oh, sorry, sorry, Senor. Ask the whatever to touch gold to turn the gold. The spirit initiates effort to prevent it. Midas planet played that this was fantastic, which and so he was bitter with. Excited about his nearly earned powers, Midas started touching a king's of the teen journey as eating into poor gold. But soon, Midas become hungry as a pick up a piece of food. I hunt, he called it, he did, he did. I had turned the gold in his hand. Hungry, Midas groaned, ill starved. Perhaps this was no such an excellent witch after how. Seeing his dismal midst below doubted tread, her hands around him to comfort him. And she too turned to gold. The golden touch is not blazing. Midas great. Wow. Very good, Jorge. Very good. Okay, the most sure, important. Can I? Sure, Christopher, go ahead. That's the way it is. That's the okay, way I want you, you to be in the class, like participating all the time. Go ahead, Christopher. Okay. This is a story of love. The name of the story is Sarah Love Story. One Saturday, Sarah woke up early. She had a fight with her family. She had a quick shower and left home to work. On her way to the office, a handsome man asked her if she knew where the closest bank was. She told him where it was. The man asked her if she could call with to him to the bank and to have a cup of coffee as well. She said yes. Sarah and the man had coffee. After that, they went to the cinema and then to a disco. They danced for three hours. Sarah didn't ask the, the man's name. She didn't ask him on Facebook or WhatsApp. At midnight, the man said he had to go to the bathroom, but he didn't come back. Sarah fell in love with the man. She wanted the man to come back. She waited for him for five years, but he didn't come back. Sarah, I love or heard about love. She prayed God to go frequently. One day, Sarah, Sarah was waiting in the line in the van when a man came call to her and asked her what time it was. His body found this family. It was the same man. His name was Joseph. They married, they married eight months later and had two beautiful stories. Wow. The end. Oh, okay, that was fantastic, Christopher. That was really good. Okay, remember, people, I highly recommend you to be practicing the pronunciation of regular verbs. Okay? Dance, we say dan dance, yes. dance or danced. Dance. We say ask it, ask it, or asked. Uh, All right, very uh, good. So uh, that's what I want you to keep in mind. That's why of the homework assignment. That's the reason I assigned that that type of homework. Let me it's see. Very difficult. It's very difficult pronunciation and simple past and verbs, verbs, verbs in regular. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. It is difficult at the beginning because little by little you get accustomed to. Okay, if the more you practice, the more, I mean, the better level of English you are going to get. Mientras más lo practiquen, mejor van a sonar en inglés. Okay? Es cierto, es la primera vez que lo practico. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds irregular. It's like, 
verb infinity form. Uh, a kind of, kind of, but not the as, same. As uh, uh, more or less. <laughs> yeah, okay, people. Uh, let me see. I have 21 people connected, and I hope the rest of the people can enter to the class. Now, I will share, I will share the activity for tonight because we need to finish. Hey, I, I noticed that you had some problems with certain with certain activities in the in the platform. Okay, now listen, it's very important for us that you complete all of the activities in the platform, okay? It's very, very important. There are two things that we are um, that we are um, trying to accomplish. I mean, and one of them is that you can get the, the 80% percent of your participation in the class. I mean, uh, getting into the class every single day, Okay, and the other part is that you can complete all the activities in the platform. Okay, it's, it's very, very important. So that I could see that there were some people uh, asking, asking questions, okay, about the activity. I think this was the activity. Was this the activity you had problems yesterday? I mean, today? Did you have problems with the activity, people? Now, let us try to solve it, please. Uh, it says conversation using the correct form of the verse in the past tense. D this was did the. You, did, did you have go summer? All right. So the first one we needed the auxiliary T, right? Uh, did you have a good summer? Do you have a good summer? Okay. The second one, yes, I did. I. I have. I have. Okay. Yes, I had great <clears throat> summer. I had a great, great summer. summer. Uh, I go to the beach a lot. When? When? I went I, to the I beach went a lot. The beach. I went to the beach. All right. So we're going to check it. Okay. Little by little. Because it's very important. Let me see to, to see what we were doing. Okay. This is all right. If you remember, at the beginning of a, of a sentence, we need to get a capital letter. Learn okay? capital. Yeah, I mean. Over here says, this or did right but actually it's better this option okay that's the best option okay yes i did i had all right perfect i had and the last one i went well, so well, far so good right so far so good so let's move on to the second part second conversation okay now in here we're gonna continue doing the same story right we're gonna complete by uh, this, the filling the plans by using the correct form of the perks in the past. Okay, the past of go. When you went, when who uh, was anywhere it's, last It's time? not necessary because the auxiliary. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. so you got you my point, it. right? So then we say, did you went, people? No, no, it's go. Well. You gotta be careful, right? Hey, did you go anywhere last summer? All right, now it's better, right? Remember that when we use the auxiliary did, the verb remains in the base form. Now, no, I didn't. I stay here. Stay. I stay. I stay, right? I stay here. The right. auxiliary didn't and the form negative. I stay, right? Is that correct? Uh, not yeah. correct. No, not correct. But if, I have, I if, have it. If, I, I no, no, no. It's no. Tired. No. Tired. 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 Now in the in the oh, next part, uh, okay, I get a pie job, so I made one extra money. Is that correct? Got, got, no, no. It's no. Got. It's got, got, all right, I got, got. 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 Let's see, second part. Let's see what's going on with the second part. Okay, conversation number two, go. Did, did you go uh, anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stay here. I got a part-time job. So I made some extra money. Okay, very good. 
Conversation number three, we continue doing the same, right? Using the correct form of the verse in the past tense. Okay, same story. Now, the, uh, this, is, this is easy, right? Did you took? Did you no. took any classes no. last time? No, I think. Uh, uh, oh, it's take. I'm sorry. Do you take? Do you, you take yes. any classes last summer? No. Uh, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> correct. It's correct. I hear the question mark is missing, right? Because it's a question. Yes or no? Yes or no? Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. it's yeah. Something was missing there. Okay. So, but anyways, let's move on. Then in the next one, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I need to erase this part. Okay, in the next one, oh, this is very easy, right? Yes. Uh, I yes, did. I did. I, I took. Take. Uh, okay, I did. No, 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 no. I, I took. took. No, no, no. I took. I took. Took. Uh, okay. Took. Uh, oh. In Spanish, let's go. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. I took tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Wow. Let me see. Let me see. Let's check it very quickly because we have a lot of things to do tonight. Okay. Oh, and I have. Yeah. All right. Take. Do you take? Very good. Yes, I did. Okay. I took. Very good. Wow. Only two parts, right? This is what was very, very easy. Next part. Next conversation. Now continue with the same story, right? Completing conversation by using correct form of the verse in the past tense. Now, did you spoke, right? Do you speak? No, speak. No, no speak wrong. That's wrong? Speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you speak? Do you speak, speak. English last summer? Mm. No, I didn't, no. but I... But I read. Read it. Read. I read. I read. English book. Uh, okay. Read. Read. Now, listen to pronunciation. Read. 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 Pronunciation. Read. No, I didn't, but I read English books. Very good. Now, and I... I watched watch English movies. Watch. And I watched watch. watch English, English movies. All right. Let's check it quickly. Let's check them quickly. Okay, conversation number four. Speak. Very good. Did you speak? No, I didn't, but I read, all right, and I watched. Very good. Now, if you have any questions, you just tell me, hey, teacher, stop there, I have a question. Wow, well, we are done with it. We got 10 people. Now, any questions about it? No questions? No questions. No teacher. No questions. That's clear, right? Very simple, simple pass. That's why it's called simple pass, because it is The very regular. Ah, the irregular verbs. Okay, now let's yeah. move on. Let's move on. This is the four nine. Okay, and let's move on to the next one. Uh, four nine. Now over here. Now what are we going to learn tonight? We are going to learn, or you will learn. This is the objective. You will learn how to ask and answer simple past with just no questions, and additionally. You will practice conversation, okay? Which illustrate how this topic is used in real life setting. All right. So let's move on. Let's see what's going on for tonight. Information that's quite good. I mean, we you have already practiced this, right? But you haven't seen this information, which is important. So we're gonna see it. Then we will check if you have any question. And then we are going to see if we can finish with this lesson. Be ready. Uh, let me see, give me one second. I think I will share it once again because I didn't activate the audio. I will do it once again, I'm so sorry. Okay, now yes. Now yes. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice.
Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on... Did no, we're we... going to go over uh, go over the activity step by step, okay? We're going to try to finish as soon as possible, but uh, this is a conversation, people. Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like what? Well, it seems to be a vacation time, right? So look at what we have here. We have Laura and we have Erica, right? And we have just no questions. We're going to identify just no questions, okay? So this is the first one, as you can see. Did you go? Did you, did go? you go? Now, when you have did, remember the verb remains in the base form, right? Did, did you go, go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. Now, what is the other possible answer? No, I did then. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. But in this case, yes, I did. My sister and I went, simple past, went to, to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Now, over here, once again, the question. Yes, no question. Do you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Oh, yeah, we loved it. Did you go, once again, now you see? Yes, no question. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Answer, no, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Yeah. All right, so that's the conversation. Now, everybody, do me the favor to, uh, to practice the conversation at home. I uh, Repeat after me. I will ask two people to help me, okay, to repeat. I need um, Alma, and, and I need... I, I have two ladies in the conversation, right? So Alma and then Reina. Alma and Reina, okay. Only you. You are going to help me to repeat, okay? Uh, Alma, you start. I will. I will. I will say the sentence, and then you repeat it. Then, Reina, I will. I I will ask you to repeat the Erica's part. Okay. Now okay. let's start. Okay. This is this is Alma's part. So, did you go anywhere last summer? So, did you go? Did you go anywhere last summer? Good. Now, Reina. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw, Reina. We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw the Grand Canyon. Uh, now, Alma, really? Did you like it? Really? Did you like it? Now, Reina, oh, yes, we loved it. Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? Did you, did you go hiking there? And no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, actually, we rode horses. We rode horses. And we also went uh, white water rafting. And we also went white water rafting. On the Colorado River. On the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Wow, did you, did you have fun? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We had a great time. We had a great time. Now, I hope everybody is like uh, putting, put, uh, I mean, pronouncing the, 
the conversation at home because we're going to continue seeing the, 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 the next part, okay? But remember, you can practice it at home. Let's move on with the next part. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. All right. Now, help me. Somebody, help me with, with the first question, please. Somebody in the group. Alma Yvette, can you help can you help me to read this part? Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? Did you, did you have a, a good summer? Okay, very good. Carlos Ernesto, what's the answer? Yes. I had a great summer. Yes, I did. Carlos? Yes, yes, I did. I had a great summer. A great summer. Very good, Carlos. Cecibel, I, I wonder if Cecibel got into the class tonight. I don't see her. No, right. Maybe she has some problems tonight. Please, teacher. Uh, okay, go ahead, Jose Luis. No, no, I didn't play tennis. I play tennis. All right, now look at it, uh, Jose Luis. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I play tennis. I play tennis. Excellent. Thank you, uh, Jose Luis. Thank you very much. Now, who wants no, to no read the no read the question? Only answer. Uh, do me the favor, you play volleyball? David. Excellent. Thank Did you. you. Play volleyball. Did you play volleyball. Perfect. Very good, Jorge. I really like you. Are just paying special attention. Hector, are you here? Hector, it is. Jorge Alberto. Yes, teacher. Okay, Jorge, read the question and the answer, please. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She like she liked it. She liked it a lot. All right. Now, notice something about pronunciation, people. Uh, the last, the last pronunciation of this verb is like sounds like a T. Is that right? She yes. liked it. That's why you you listen to the woman say say like she liked it. T T. T. She liked it it's a lot. Like yeah. Like the person didn't say she liked it. No. 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 It's because she spoke really she fast, it. right? She liked it a lot. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Jorge, Jorge Alberto, right? You're welcome. Okay, Jose Enrique, the next part, please. Jose Enrique, Jose Enrique. Oh, Catherine Judith. Katie Tatiana. Reina Concepción. Hi, teacher. No. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Yeah, I'm Jenny. Okay, Jenny, go ahead. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? What about the answer? Me escucho, teacher. Yeah, I, I listened to you. What's the answer, Jenny? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona, right? Now, let us try uh, to practice a little bit faster. Vamos a tratar de practicar un poquito más rápido. Ok, alguien hace la pregunta y la otra persona lo dice, lo responde, pero rápido, ok? No. no... Teacher, can I? Okay, yeah. Christopher. Christopher and Jose. The first one. Ok. Yeah. Do you have a good summer? Yes, I did. Do you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Yes, I did. I did had you play a great volleyball? summer. 
Did you play volleyball? <laughs> Yeah, I don't listen. Do you play? Do you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play, played tennis. I played tennis. Remember, this is a D sound. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you, Christopher. Thank okay, you, Jose. Sure. I need two okay. people more. Two people. Okay, I have Kenya and also. What is your... Kenya yeah. and Susana. Very good, Kenya and Susana. Thank okay. you, Susana. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked, she liked it a lot. Okay, now let's stop here. And we're gonna get it better. Now, once again, uh, Kenya, did Erica like her vac vacation? It's vacation. Did Erica like her vacation? Did Erica like her vacation? Once again, Kenya. Did Erika did Erika like her vacation? Did Erika like her? Did, did like her vacation? Vacation. Did Erika like her vacation? Did Erika like her vacation? Okay, that's better, Susana. Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. She liked it a lot. Very good. Now that's better, right? Next part, please, Kenya, Kenya, and Susana. Let's continue. Okay. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. All right. That's that was better. That was quite good. Now I, let me see. Because of the time, we're gonna move to the next part. Okay, people. But remember, this is a way for you to to practice the language. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Later on, if we still have some time, we're going to continue practicing the way we uh, create just no questions and the, uh, uh, with simple paths and the way we answer them. Let's move on, please. In order to form simple paths, Take a yes look at or it. no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a compliment and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense, have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a compliment and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. 
I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Teacher, your mic. I'll say, oh, yeah, teacher. Uh, I'm so sorry. That was my fault. I, I, I deactivate my microphone. But listen, um, one of your homework assignments, una de sus tareas, anótenlo por ahí, es que en la próxima sesión nos van a hablar acerca de sus vacaciones, que hicieron en sus vacaciones, ¿ok? Siempre le vamos a dar énfasis al pasado. Ok, ya la otra semana vamos a seguir con un pasado simple, pero se vienen otras actividades. Y les voy adelantando para que se preparen para la otra semana, porque las actividades van a ser un poquito, un poquito trabaja, trabajosas, pero de mucho, de mucho beneficio. Eh, van a buscar o van a buscar una biografía, ok, de alguien que ustedes elijan, ok, y pues si, si la biografía pues se extiende mucho, traten de decir lo, lo más significativo ¿okay? de la persona. Por supuesto, la información va a ser en pasado, ¿verdad? Y esto es para la otra semana siempre. En el, eh, yo les voy a decir cuándo, pero se los estoy adelantando para que ya lo tengan en mente. Eh, les voy a pedir la otra semana que, que creen su autobiografía también en inglés. Ok, son cositas que se vienen más adelante. Ok, teacher, got it. Oh, ok, you got it. Very good. Now, let's move on, please, because we need to finish with this. I wonder if you have questions about this video. No questions about it, people? Let me see. I need to get I need to get this info, right? Now no questions about it. Is is that clear the information acá? The, the the remember to yes, create teacher. I'm yeah. scared. Ah. You're scared. Now remember you have an auxiliary, you have a subject, you have a verb. In the base form or in the present form, and you have a compliment, right? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. All right. So this is the way we create the questions, just no question with simple past tense. Now, if you don't have questions, let's move on with the knowledge check. Okay. And we're almost done with it. Okay, we're gonna try to finish it. Okay, now I, I know that you you were working in this part. Uh, you were in charge of um, working and you had to unscramble the question by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Okay, example, uh, have you have you did summer good? No, right, that is not, that is nonsense. So you need to order it. Did you have a good summer? Okay. What did you get in the first one, people? Did you watch television last watch night? Television. Did you watch television? Last night? Last night. And a question mark, right? Right. All right, very good. Have dinner you did last night? Mm, did, did you have, you have a dinner, dinner, last, night? You have dinner last night? Have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? You had dinner last night? All right, very good. Go to work yesterday, you did. Did you go to work yesterday? Did did you could you please repeat? Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? 
And go to the movies they did on Wednesday. Did they go to the movies? Go to the movies on Wednesday. Go to the movies on Wednesday. Did, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? All right. Oops. What happened on Wednesday? All right, so that's it. Let, let's check, let's check. In the first one, did you watch TV last night? We did it, right? In the second one, do you have dinner last night? Perfect. In the third one, did you go to work yesterday? Good. In the next part, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Fantastic. Very good. Fantastic. All right. So let us try to move on. I don't know if you have any question, you can ask that question. Okay. Let me see. Silvia Carolina, are you there? Silvia? Silvia Carolina. Or Wilson? What about Wilson? Wilson, are you there? Wow, Wilson is not in the class tonight. Well, now uh, we're gonna move on. Okay, we're almost done. We're gonna continue learning something over here. Now, uh, by the end of this part of the class, you will learn how to use vocabulary related to uh, summer activities, okay? Summer activities. Remember that you are in charge, of in charge of talking about vacation time. Okay, remember that that's the first homework for Monday. We're gonna see this. We were gonna see the vocabulary, okay? And I think we're gonna be done with it. Okay, let's see. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so as you can see, people, the vocabulary, you can go. okay, uh, summer activities, a class, fun, hiking, a movie, new people, old friends, a picnic, pictures, a play, swimming, tennis, volleyball. And then you have some verbs such as hike, have, meet, play, see, take. Okay, now, uh, if you combine both uh, uh, vocabularies, if you have, for example, uh, go to the movies, go to the movies, okay, maybe there you met people, you had, you had some snacks, okay, you took, um, I, I don't know, something there, 
or uh, you met some old friends, etc. Right. So uh, this this is quite important. Now let's see. Let's see. Uh, remember, this vocabulary is is uh, it can be used useful for you to create the homework assignment for Monday. Okay, for Monday. This is this is vocabulary you can use. Okay. Now. Oh, we're we're at the end right now, right? We're almost at the end. Uh, this is actually a reading activity, right? An activity. I think we still have like some minutes. Okay. But in this activity, you are in charge of uh, getting main ideas and details. Okay, that's the the goal for this activity. I will play the video and then uh, you just try to get the whole info, uh, the, the whole idea and provide main ideas and details about every single person, okay? Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Okay, now, listen. Algo así tienen como, como, como de tarea para el día lunes. No, no necesariamente tiene que ser algo... Demasiado extenso, ¿verdad? Sino que algo corto, pero muy bien pronunciado y muy bien elaborado con estructuras en pasado. Ok, recuérdense que el tema es qué es lo que hicieron durante sus vacaciones. Pueden hablarnos de las vacaciones de, de la Semana Santa o alguna que otra actividad que hicieron en otro momento. Ok, eh, pueden tomar de ejemplo estas estas lecturas, ok, y al mismo tiempo también buscar las ideas principales de cada una de estas, eh, de, de, de estas historias. Voy a dejar de compartir, solo quiero corroborar este, la, la asistencia, y si ya ustedes tienen alguna duda al final, solo me la dicen y la aclaramos. Cecibel, no la visualicé ahora. Si no los menciono es porque ya chequeé que sí estuvieron acá en la clase. Héctor. Si yo me he equivocado, corríjanme, por favor. Iris Elizabeth. José Enrique. Present. Ah, ok, José Enrique. Very good, José. 
eh, Catherine Judith, Katie Tatiana, Silvia Carolina, and Wilson. Okay, so those are the people I have checked. Uh, they didn't, they, they were not in the class. Okay, now, este, ¿tienen alguna duda respecto a las actividades de la próxima semana? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? No necesariamente, oigan bien, lo que es para el lunes son este, que nos cuenten qué es lo que hicieron en sus vacaciones pasadas. Eso sí es para el día lunes. Ahora, lo que es respecto a la biografía y la autobiografía, eso lo vamos a desarrollar en los días siguientes, ¿ok? No se vayan a afanar a queriendo hacerlo todo de un solo, o pues, pues si usted quiere adelantar, pues lo puede hacer. Pero sí, esas dos actividades, eh, esas tres actividades vienen para la próxima semana. La otra semana prácticamente es la última semana de este nivel, y recuérdense que tienen un examen final. Eh, les sugiero que eh, no falten a las clases, que se conecten los 60 minutos, eh, que se conecten a tiempo, eh, porque como se los decía yo ayer, eh, el tiempo que ustedes se mantienen conectados en la clase queda registrado. Eh, los días que ustedes entran a la clase queda registrado, ¿ok? Y es muy importante que tomemos ventaja de la horita que tenemos todas las noches para practicar inglés, ¿ok? Es súper necesario. Si ustedes vayan haciéndose una autoevaluación, ¿qué tanto eh, voy aprendiendo en el curso? ¿Qué tanto estoy mejorando mi, mi inglés? Um, ¿Cuántas palabras me estoy aprendiendo a diario? ¿Ok? Uh, etcétera, etcétera. También, recuérdense que yo les, les solicité que se fueran memorizando por lo menos unos cinco verbos diarios. ¿Lo están haciendo? Yes. All right. Si lo están, haci si lo están haciendo, los felicito. A a solo, yes, sí, sí. solo asegúrense que no, se... Les... Es All right, very good, Christopher. Solo asegúrense que se los están aprendiendo bien. Yo les compartí dos enlaces de dos videos en donde ya aparecen el presente, el pasado, y hay una columna que creo que dice pasado participio, y está el significado. Pero me interesa mucho que ustedes se, se aprendan, se memoricen cómo se escribe, se memoricen cómo se pronuncia en presente, y se memoricen cómo se pronuncia en pasado. Okay, que es lo que estamos este, trabajando en estos últimos días. De esa manera, cuando ustedes ya se muevan a otro nivel superior, okay, a un intermedio eh, plenamente, entonces ya no les va a costar. Porque de hecho, eh, ya pronto vamos a empezar a, a, a estudiar otras estructuras. Okay? Por de pronto nos quedamos con eso. No sé si hay alguna, alguna duda. Trabajen no, la... La, la plataforma, por favor, traten de completar todos los ejercicios, porque eso I, es otro I que end queda... the platform. I Ahí. end the platform. Ok, si usted ya lo terminó, perfecto. Solo le queda pendiente lo de la última semana y lo del examen final. All right. So I, if... Sister, okay. I have a question. Tell me, Kenia. Eh, ahorita estaba viendo de lo de la tarea de la biografía. Tenemos que buscar en inglés. Puede ser de cualquier persona que nosotros querramos. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, va. Pero sí, eh, estaba fíjense. pensando si era un artista, un escritor, así. Sí, está no. bien. Lo que ustedes decidan, este, no, no. siempre y cuando sea un buen ejemplo para, para todos, ¿verdad? Este, no, no van a buscar, digamos, a, a una persona con, con, con este, actitudes negativas o... Ah, o okay. que sean un mal ejemplo para todos acá, porque no, no queremos saber de ellos, queremos saber de aquellas personas que han tenido este éxito en la vida y que, pues, a pesar de las adversidades, que ellos han salido adelante. Algo, algo por ahí. Y lo otro es que Hola. las biografías regularmente Hola. son largas. Hola. Traen mucha información. Entonces, les sugiero que les recorten 
que les recorten y que nos digan como aquellas cosas más, más significativas. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. If you como don't have una it, Como una síntesis. Así es. Ok. Catherine Roxana, ya chequeé, Catherine, que sí está, estuvo en la clase. Ok. Hey, God bless you richly and let us see the next week. Goodbye. I see next week. Bye. 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 Bye.